So <clears throat> we're going to set up network shares now. Um, I'm not going to do anything too over the top, but I'll just show you how to manage them. Uh, we'll just go file and storage services. So normally in a sort of like a real world environment, you would have a file server. Okay. Not on your domain controller, but um, <clears throat> for our purposes, this is fine. So we just come over to file and storage services, check that you've got you know your disks in there. Uh, storage pools are a bit, yeah, they're a little bit different. That could possibly be this drive that I'm working on anyway. Uh, so I've already created the share. Uh, you basically go new share, just pick the quick one, go through, pick where you want it, and then you give it the path and then a share name right and you go through that'll create everything and then you end up here so this is this path right there shares network share uh, so this currently has all the default permissions set to it Basically, we want to you want to remove everything from so basically just take users out of it. Okay, so it's inheriting from its parent which is up here. <clears throat> uh, okay. So inheriting from up here. So if we go to advanced, uh, change the owner to like, Yeah, and disable inheritance and convert to explicit and then hit OK All right and then reopen it you should be able to uh, should then be able to remove yeah administrators are OK uh, that could possibly be right. Cool. Okay, so you must have read permissions. Cool. So if we edit, take away this full control. Actually, no. Administrators, we want to leave full control. That's all good. All right. And then we go add users. This is a group. All right. Tell it that it can list. List folder contents. And say this folder only right and that creates the ability for 
Sondian uses. Alright, so Sondian users can traverse through this folder. Alright, they can traverse through the folder to access this folder here. And we want to basically set the same thing on here. Because we've disabled inheritance, right? Right, we just want to disable that inheritance and once again add users. Right, so they can list this folder only. And that will allow that will allow users to yeah cool that will allow users to then traverse through here so we can go like new folder uh, one new folder uh, two. Another new folder. We'll say and another new folder for. Right, so what we need to do now, right, so just check the default security, right, uh, disable inheritance on leads as well. It'd be ideal if it would just automatically do it, um, but it's no big deal to go through and do this. Just so there is absolutely no inheritance to allow like uh, ACL leaking, as I like to call it. So we come into here in our folder groups, right? Uh, what we do, we go new group, just put it in as a global security, right? Call it uh, folder group registration. New group all through all through. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you get the idea what we're doing here. Um, and we're just setting 
our different groups to assign users to these folders. Right. So now that we've got these groups made, we can come in and in the security we can now add uh, so just check the names for the group HR Allow modify and write and this folder subfolders and files. All right, type allow. Then you do the same over here. development probably not necessary to go through to the extent that I have but like by removing users from it um, you can allow them to see the folders. Let's see. Let's just add folder group administration. All right, cool. So now we've assigned our permissions on there. Let's go one step further. Projects. Contracts. So, if we check out, we can access it. Folder group development can access everything in these three folders because we've allowed inheritance from this level, you know, where, it, well, from this level basically. We've allowed the inheritance. Um, yeah, so typically you wouldn't want regular stuff. Um, you, you typically wouldn't want regular stuff to have that access. That would be more for your management. So, subfolder group. Contracts. Right. I mean, you, you can have whatever naming convention you want. It just makes it easier to know what the hell the intention is behind it. Right. So we've now got that. Uh, we can come to advanced and we can remove that group. Oh, it's inheriting. Uh, so, yeah, once again, disable inheritance and then remove that group and then add. It'll find it because it's only one there instead of having to select it. All right. And then you apply the same settings again. 
Okay, now, uh, when I come into here, right, uh, it's all well and good to, you know, you can, like, you've been told this guy is part of the dev team, so, yeah, it's all well and good, like, that'll give him access to all of this, what's under there. It's all well and good to just apply that if you've never tested it before. All right, so what you want to do, come back out here to the root level. Okay, effective access, uh, and check his name. All right. View effective access. So traverse list read and read extended read permissions. You can't actually do anything other than that. That's exactly what we want at that level. Right. Administration. Come back in. Effective access. View. Right, he can't do any of that. That's okay. You want to check the corporate data. You really like, you only have to do this initial check once. I can't do that. Alright. You only need to do the initial check once. Um, yeah, that wants to take an ownership. Right, I did. Um, so let's just remove that. Okay, right. Cool. Yeah, because um, as long as you don't make any further changes to the security, um, you're not going to, like, this is never going to change. Right, so he can come through, check everything, and then he can't delete, change permission, he can't take ownership. That's probably the most important. At least these two. And you don't take, you don't give them full control. Just as long as they're good there. Right, and then give it a check under here. Security, effective access, and good, locked out of there, because you don't want <coughs> people getting into HR. Let it come through here, All right? Your effective access. So that's the contract. Now, why can he read the contracts? He shouldn't be able to because only people that are members of the subfolder group. Right? So he should not. <laughs> Be able to see it, but as you can see here, 
this group is allowed. So you have to also remove the group from there. Can't because it's inheriting permissions. Right. So it shouldn't be inheriting. Contract shouldn't be inheriting. So we disable the inheritance. Remove the folder group contracts. And add the subfolder group. Alright. That's how it should be looking. And if we go to advanced, right? And should now not be able to view contracts. And we go here, effective access. We should be able to view here, and we should be able to view here. Yeah. So, um, what that will do now. Uh, from a device that's able to access this network share, but it's currently empty. I need to sign that share in again. So I'm going to map the network drive, call it Z. I'm just going to browse network share. And tell it connect using different credentials because it's going to try and make me sign in with my pin. Don't want it to sign in with the pin, I want it to sign in with the domain username. Alright, so now I've got that. It's just showing me an empty folder. I probably just need to sign in again. But I'm just going to sharing security reasons. See users, they can kill. Right, let's see. Effective access. Yeah, so we've got that permission on there. And definitely see that folder. And can definitely see that folder. So I just need to uh, sign in and out again. Because Pretty sure this isn't going to do a damn thing. <coughs> right, so I will return in just a moment. All right, so I've signed back in again. Uh, here's our network share. 
and it just shows development team data, projects in general. But only shows people things that they can access and you know you, you can set it up so that you know, read only you can set it up so that you've got full access you tell them it's full access but they don't actually have full control yeah you know, so now this user can work in here a new folder general um, dev tools and uh, let's see uh, dev tools we can uh, we can get something I am right we can say Okay, call it uploaded to Inchain. Oh, I'm just grabbing a v MSI. So we want the system installer. Uh, some exe. I want an MSI. Uh, you know what? That can. I mean, this is literally just an example, so uh, it doesn't matter where it winds up. Um, so I'm just downloading this file. This makes it available for my entire team so that they can then work on it. Uh, let's see, I've got some other stuff here that might be worthwhile and handy. At least I thought I did. It's probably over this side. Okay. And run the software off the server. And just install it. Cool.
run through launch VS Code. And if I go back to the remote console, <coughs> we will see under here. general dev tools and here's the software that I just ran right and that's basically setting up file shares and blocking access to other groups using the built-in security principles um, and that to me, that's the most secure way of you know, working it out. But they can only see what they need to access. It does take a little bit more setting up initially. But once you've got to basically this level and you've set all the permissions so that they can't see all this other stuff. Once you've got it to there, um, you're pretty much right. So I'm going to cut this one off here. Next lesson will be doing the exact same thing, but in SharePoint. Right? So you want to set your teams up your sites. You want to keep them as separate as possible. And then we're going to do it with SharePoint. Uh, the same basic idea applies, but it's way easier to break SharePoint permissions. Uh, you can't think of them as Active Directory permissions, which a lot of people tend to do. And you also get people that don't understand groups and how group management works. So they will go through and explicitly assign access to something like, yeah, it becomes a nightmare. Like, could you imagine if you had to add every single user with permission to there, and then every document, everything? I mean, if I want to deny permissions for someone, I just come in here and remove them. Or, you know, you're doing a user audit. You've got a user audit going on. Oh, what are you in? Oh, you don't belong there. You just remove it. You know? um, yeah, 